Hi, this is Amy Shannon, The Rock Nerd, and I've already posted the introduction video for what I'm um, going to show you. I thought that uh, this should be the first video that gets um, posted on my go live date for YouTube, and the reason is I just, some of these things you might say, oh, boring. Well, maybe to some people, but I don't think that rocks are boring um, minerals. When you look out at the landscape, um, the horizon, um, and you can think of all these things um, as beautiful, and they are. And then if you turn your, um, close your eyes and reimagine what that particular landscape looked like, a hundred years ago, a thousand years ago, a million years ago, and it won't be the same. And sometimes it won't be the same as it was yesterday. The sun could be shining, the sun could be hiding behind clouds, it could be raining, it could be snowing. If you live, I live in upstate New York, so it snows. Um, but it's about transformation. Um, at, at one point, you know, um, billions of years ago, the, um, the continents had a collision and they slowly broke apart and then they con reconnected and then they broke apart again. Um, and it's interesting that different areas of say the United States, North America, South America, um, other continents, um, Africa, Asia, Antarctica, Australia, what they looked like and what they were billions of years ago is not the same as what they look like or are now. And another point um, of fact is that they don't look the same. They may not even be in the same position, the same exact place on this earth billions of years ago. Um, I live in upstate New York we, um, and we have the beautiful Adirondack Mountains, we have the Catskill Mountains, uh, waterfalls and state parks and national parks within our state. Um, there are a lot of things to do in, in New York State um, and when I say I live in New York State, I live upstate. Some people think, oh, you live in New York City, if you say you're from New York. Well, there's a whole other state that has nothing to do with New York City. Though New York City itself and the islands that it sits on, that's also part of geology. So that might be something that we could explore together. My videos are, are not just going to be about, you know, opening rocks and uh, boxes of rocks or showing you all my... Um, my different projects when I do rock sculptures, but also um, educate because I've been learning a lot about rocks um, and minerals, um, basically geology as a whole, and learning about the earth as a whole on the outside and then on the inside. And I find that it's very interesting and it also brought me <laughs> to watch movies that have um, some of my favorite types of movies are their natural disaster movies and the ones that really get you uh, get me anyways um, and it's not just the storyline but the the graphics and the effects that they make because of um, what happens when you have an earthquake or you have a tsunami a twister, a hurricane, um, a meteor shower, a meteor face, you know, is going to plow into the earth. Um, those things could happen. Um, so I have a lot of, uh, there's a new page on my website that is um, dedicated to the natural, dis uh, geological disaster movies that I really like. And um, I put a link, a uh, link, on that page uh, along with uh, the information and some are older I mean but um, 
I think that's why I'm drawn to them. It's not necessarily the storyline. It's like, oh yeah, they drowned or fell into the crack. Oh, look at that beautiful crack. No, that came out really wrong. You can see, you know, they do computer generate generated images and videos of the disasters and that comes from somewhere. So somewhere somebody actually recorded what happens and from studies and things like that. So it's so interesting that that um, you know, the movies are brought to life. I'm not saying that um, you need to fly to space shuttles to land on a meteor and try to drill it so it will explode and split into pieces so it doesn't hit the earth. But that would make a great storyline. Oh, wait, it did. <laughs> anyway, or you know, earthquakes in New York or sinkholes in New Orleans. Um, but I, if you are a movie buff and you, you should know some of those things that I'm talking about, but I do have a list of movies that I love um, and there are still, there will be more to come um, because when, in some downtime I, I like to watch movies. I prefer DVD, but you know. If you have a favorite natural disaster geological movie, let me know what it is. Put it in the comments. If you like any of my videos, um, you know, click the thumbs up, like button, put a comment in. That's fine. I will do my best to educate, be kind of silly, but I'm not really a silly person. But I like to share what I know with others. So. There's that geological teacher inside of me that I want to get out, and this is the way I'm going to do it. So um, I hope you enjoy these videos. I have a, a few projects up, upline, uh, um, outlined, and I hope that um, you will see me next time. Every Saturday morning, new videos will drop. Thank you. Hi, this is Amy Shannon, the rock nerd. And if you enjoyed the video that you just saw, you can leave a comment and also be sure to click subscribe on the YouTube channel. And if you click that little bell, it looks like a little bell, you can get notifications every time that uh, videos will drop. And also, if you go to my website, rocknerdamy.com, um, you can subscribe there and you'll get um, some of my blog posts and anytime there's an update, I'll be posting uh, my, my videos also on my website, also other information and images and more information about geology, rocks, minerals, ge gems, you name it, I'm going to talk about it or provide you with information about it. Now, I, I don't think I'm the only one in the world who likes rocks. So remember, geology rocks. <sighs> so terrible. Anyway, it does. Hashtag geology rocks. Hashtag rock nerd. See you next week.